Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome back to chapter 5 Vectors. In this video, we will proceed with 5.2 Scalar Product Part C. Find the angle between two vectors. Angle between two vectors. If A and B are two non-zero vectors and theta is the angle between them, from the definition of scalar product, we have it A dot B equal with magnitude A, magnitude B, cos theta. So in order to find the angle, we have to rearrange this formula. So we will start with, make it the cos theta as a subject first. So we're going to have A dot B over magnitude A, magnitude B. So as I told you before, we need to make it the theta as a subject. So we're going to have inverse cos of a dot b over magnitude a magnitude b. So always remember theta in vector must be in degree. Okay, so let's give a try. Few examples. Example 6a. Given magnitude a and b equal to 4, many, uh, value for a dot b equal to 7, find the angle between a and b. So by the scalar product definition, we can have this formula. So we can substitute your a dot b equal to 7 and the magnitude a which is 4 times 4 and then we have cos theta. So make it the cos theta as a subject first. So we can have 7 over 60. So by making the theta as a subject, so we can have inverse cos of 7 over 16. So we're going to have the value in degree which is 64.06 degree. Easy right? Okay, so let's try another example. Example 6b. Find the interior angles of triangle ABC by given three points A, B and C. So we know that total interior angles in the triangle which is 180 degree. So we will let this one as in theta 1, theta 2 and theta 3. So by scalar product definition, we can have it the angle which is we will find theta 1 and theta 2. So the third theta will be subtract theta 1 and theta 2 from 180. So how to find theta 1? It will come up from point A towards B and towards C. So for theta 1, we will involve with vector AB and vector AC. So theta 1 will be equal with inverse cos of AB dot AC over magnitude AB magnitude AC. So before we proceed with this formula, we need to find the position vector of AB and AC. So your AB will be equal to negative 3, negative 3, negative 2. Next, for the AC, so we're going to have the value for AC which is 2, negative 2, negative 7. Okay, so now we have to find the dot product between AB and AC. So we will get 14. Next, finding the magnitude of AB and AC. Oh, 
okay so we will substitute these three values into the formula for the theta one directly we have inverse cos of 14 over square root of 22 times square root 57 so theta one we will get equal with 66.71 degree okay so that one for theta one next we will find for theta two so it will come out from point b so point b towards c and then towards a so theta two the vector involved which is b a and b c so theta two will be equal to inverse cos of ba dot bc over magnitude ba magnitude bc okay so we need to find the position vector of ba and bc so as we know that ba is the opposite direction of ab so we can have it negative of position vector ab we have it 3 3 2 and then bc oc minus ob So we will get 5, 1, negative 5. Okay, next, finding the dot product of BA and BC. We will get 15 plus 3 minus 10, which is equal to 8. Okay, magnitude of BA will be the same as magnitude of AB, which is square root of 22. Magnitude of BC. Will be equal to square root of 51. So, substitute these three values into the formula as well. Directly, we can have it the theta 2 equal to inverse cos of 8 over square root 22 times square root 51 and then our theta 2 will be equal with 76.18 degree so we have done finding two angles so to find the third angle we can have it 180 minus with theta 1 and theta 2 So your theta 3 will be equal with 37.11 degree. So next, we will proceed with example 6C. Find position vector of PQ by given point of P and Q. Hence, determine the angle between vector PQ and V equal to K. So finding the position vector PQ where we have it OQ minus OP so we will get 437 so we change to direction component 4i plus 3j plus 7k and next Hence, determine the angle between vector PQ and V equal to K. So, as you know that V equal to K in coordinate form, we will have it 0, 0, 1. So, theta will be equal to inverse cos of PQ dot V over magnitude PQ times magnitude V. So find the dot product of PQ and V first. We can have equal with 0 plus 0 plus 7 which is equal to 7. Okay, magnitude of PQ 
we can have it 16 plus 9 plus 49 equal with square root of 74. And then square, uh, magnitude for V, which is 1. So substitute these three values into the formula. Directly we have it inverse cos of 7 over square root 74 times 1. So the angle between vector PQ and V equal 35.54. So that's it for now. I will see you again in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.